third row on the left. Hi, Marcus. Um, the team has been amazingly resilient and yet also somewhat inconsistent um, through the playoff run. You guys haven't lost two in a row in more than two months. What is it about this group that allows you to, you know, get knocked down and get right back up? Well, um, I've said it before, we've been knocked down a lot early on in the season, so we know what it feels like to be knocked down and we know what, um, what we can withstand. And, um, you know, it ain't nothing that we haven't seen or, or been in, in, in any situation before. So for us, it's just to keep fighting because we know our potential when we do that. Second row on the left. Mark Murphy, Boston Herald, and Marcus. They, uh, they won the physical battle of the last game. Draymond in particular seemed to just set a certain tone with you guys. How do you respond to that without losing your composure? I mean, you, you respond to fire with fire, right? I mean, we just got to, you know, turn around and do the same thing. You know, if he's going to come in here and try to be physical, this is our house and we got to protect it. In the middle here, Adam Hamlin's back. Kind of along those lines, you're obviously, you know, a player who likes to set the tone with your physicality, with your defense. Is that something you, like, you take personally when you see somebody else do that um, against you guys in a stage like this? And is it something you, you know, individually say, hey, this is, this is not going to happen here, that type of thing? Definitely. I mean, as any competitor would tell you, you know, um, you know, when you get hit in the mouth like that, it's only one way to respond. And, and if you're not really ready to do that, then you don't need to be on the stage. And this is a stage where it's going to take, you know, we got to be willing to, 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 to risk it all out there for your team and, and for the victory. So um, by all means necessary, that's the mindset that they have. Uh, it's the mindset we have, but we got to go out there and, and execute it. First row on the right. Michael Pena from Sports Illustrated. Uh, Marcus, what growth have you seen from Jalen um, in throughout your entire time as his teammate, and just how critical has he been to this entire era of Celtics basketball? Um, Jalen's evolution is remarkable. You know, we we here with the team, we've seen it. We, we knew we, it was coming. It was just a matter of time when, and, you know, the way that he allowed the game to slow down for him. You know, early on in his career, you know, he was getting out and he was just running, you know, and, you know, um, like a chicken with his head cut off. You know, we make a joke with him about that. Um, now he's really, you know, thinking the game. You know, he's playing the game. He's letting it come to him, and it's slowing down for him, and I think we all can see that. And uh, that's, that's what it's been for us since Jalen's got here from day one. And that's what it's going to continue to be. You know, he, he gets us going, uh, you know, um, especially when, you know, Jason's not being Jason. Sometimes it happens. Teams are keying in on him. And, you know, JB knows and understands that it's his turn to take over when that happens. And he's been great for us all year. On the right side in the back. Marcus, uh, John Schumann, NBA.com. Seems like when you guys are driving, you're seeing multiple bodies, multiple arms, um, you know, closing those driving lanes. How can you create cleaner driving lanes uh to the basket um you just got to continue when, when you drive you know you can't take an extra dribble when you should be passing the ball um and you might have to take that extra dribble instead of passing the ball sometimes you know it's, it's just got to make that read and you got to trust and understand and believe in your uh, teammates and in the game plan so you know it's not getting ourselves too far into traffic to where uh we only have one decision and, and, and it's not a very good one. So um, I think that that will help us a lot, um, just making things very simple for us. First row on the left. Oi, man, and on this media, Marcus. You and Derek, since you came together, you've gotten to play together quite a bit here. Just how, what's been that process of learning to play together out there and you two as point guards? How do you kind of try to address some of the ball handling issues this team has at times? Um, we just do our best. You know, um, Jalen and Jason have a lot of eyes on them. You know, and nine times of ten, the best two defenders of a team are going to be guarding those two. So um, me and Derek got to do a better job of getting our team together, um, helping those guys off, really relieving some of that pressure off of them. And, uh, you know, just playing basketball, you know, and that's part of it. They they trust us enough to do it. We trust our capability. We trust our capability in it. And we know who we are. We'll take two more questions. Shane in the front. Yeah, Marcus Shane Young with Ford Sports. We talk a lot about the physical fatigue that, it, that, that Steph Curry takes a toll on your body whenever you're chasing them around screens and playing defense against them. Is there also a mental fatigue component to it because you know you can never let up and you have to make those second and third efforts on every possession? Definitely. I mean, he's a great player. <laughs> I 
I think we all can agree on that, right? I mean, the dude is phenomenal and outstanding at what he does. Um, and, and it doesn't take one guy. It takes a full team effort. But, you know, when you're on him and you're the, the main defender, you have to be mentally prepared as long as physically prepared for what's, what's to come. And, uh, you know, I think for me and this team, that's what we do. You know, first effort, second effort, third effort, fourth effort, those multiple efforts is what we do, and we just got to continue to do them. Last question. Thanks a lot, Mark. Thank you, guys.